Photoshop, it's everywhere, right? If you want to break into the creative industry, you are going to need it. But do you really need to pay for it? Isn't there a way to use it for free? Well, yes <laughs> and no. Uh, let's just explain. In this video, we're going to go over how to use Photoshop for free. We'll cover the current costs of Photoshop, how to use it for free, and what your options are for alternatives. And of course, if you would like to purchase Photoshop, you can do so through the links in the video description. Go take a look. Now, let's get into today's video. Photoshop can be purchased with a subscription. The current version is called Photoshop CC, and the app can be downloaded from Adobe's Creative Cloud platform. This means that you are buying the software as a service. So don't like paying for subscriptions? Well, that won't be an issue with Photoshop Elements. You can perform most of the cool stuff that you can do in Photoshop CC with Elements, and this includes common Photoshop operations like uh, removing backgrounds, changing colors. This app is cheaper in the long run as it only costs $99.99 once. So do you fancy yourself a jack of all trades designer? No? Well, what would you like to be? Well, that can happen if you get the complete Creative Cloud package from Adobe. It is a more expensive package at $54.99 per month with an annual contract. For that cost, however, you get access to the entire Adobe Creative Cloud app library. And that is a whole lot of apps and a whole lot of power. If this price seems too steep amid your student loans or teacher salary, well, we've got some good news for you. There is a student and teacher discount. There, you'll only have to pay $20 for the complete Creative Cloud library with proof of your school attendance. Okay, so that's how much Photoshop costs. But what about using it for free? Well, that is the $20,000 question, isn't it? Now, of course, one route you'll probably hear for free Photoshop is piracy. There are a lot of problems with this method. It's not just the legal aspects, though. It should be noted, however, there are some pretty steep penalties for software piracy. The bigger problem is that most pirated versions of Photoshop are not using the latest version. Unlike Photoshop CC, pirated Photoshop software tends to be based on Photoshop CS6. This was the last version to be released on a disk that was easier to pirate. So while you may be using Photoshop for free, you'd be using a copy that is literally a decade old. And do you really want to be that behind the times? I'll be deep in the cold, cold ground before I recognize Missouri. There's also the safety concerns that come with most piracy. The pirated version of Photoshop you download could be loaded with viruses and malware. You could even be completely bamboozled and not be downloading Photoshop at all. Do what you want because a pirate is free. Everything about pirating Photoshop is a massive gamble that honestly isn't worth the risk to your machine. It's cheaper to just buy a Photoshop subscription than it is to buy a new computer. The good news is there is still a way to use Photoshop for free. Well, with the time limit. You see, Adobe offers a free seven day trial of Photoshop. You can use the program with all its functionality for an entire week without paying a dime. Here's how to do that. On the Adobe website, find the Photoshop page. There should be a button on that page to sign up for a free trial. Click and you'll be taken through to the checkout process. If you haven't done so already, you'll have to set up an Adobe account. The account is required to keep track of your purchase so that you can download it onto any device. During the checkout process, you will have to enter a credit card or PayPal account. Don't worry about being charged. The trial is still on and you'll only be charged at the end of the seven days. Now you'll want to keep track of the time However, as the charge for the first month will be automatic by the end of the week. If you forget to cancel after day seven, don't panic. Adobe still offers a full refund after 14 days or, you know, two weeks. So the best way to use Photoshop for free is to take advantage of the trial. That may not seem like much time considering the short trial period, but there's an old school saying from design school regarding trial periods on software. If you've only got a week to use the software for free, finish your project in a week. While you're working though, keep one eye on the clock. The last thing you want is for the payment to sneak up on you if you're not willing to pull the trigger. After all, you don't want such an investment to get lost in the shuffle of your streaming apps. Before the seven days are up, you'll need to cancel the Photoshop plan. And you can do this by going to the Adobe website and logging into your account. Inside your account page, find the section for managing plans. There, you'll find the Photoshop trial that you signed up for. Choose to cancel it and you'll be taken through the cancellation process. If you've canceled before the seven days are up, there's no charge. No uninstall is required. 
unless you want to take off the Adobe Creative Cloud installer. It's that easy. That's right. It's so easy. Now, the cheapest method for using Photoshop is to take advantage of Photoshop Express. No, it's not a delivery service. Planet Express. Our crew is replaceable. Your package isn't. Photoshop Express can be thought of as Adobe's answer to Canva. It's a free version of Photoshop that can be used on mobile devices. You don't even have to go through Adobe to get it. Just download it directly from Google Play or the Apple App Store. This app is ideal for Photoshop users on the move. The photo editing tools are quick, they're accessible, and allow for speedy sharing online. For the photographers shooting on location, Photoshop Express is true to its title for the photographer who has got to go fast. If you're not as go, go, go as Sonic, Express may not be right for you. And this is mostly due to how many features Photoshop Express lacks when considering the limitations. Much like Canva, Photoshop Express is not ideal for drawing since, well, you can't really do that in the app. Photoshop Express is strictly photography. Okay, so there is no way to use Photoshop for free in the long term. So, well, are there other apps to consider? Well, you are in luck because there is more good news. There are some free Photoshop alternatives. GIMP has long been considered Photoshop's closest competitor. It's an open source design app that can perform most of the same functions as Photoshop. You can use it for drawing, photo manipulation, and all sorts of graphic design projects. GIMP is free to download and to use professionally. If you're seeking Photoshop strictly for photography, consider PhotoPos Pro as an alternative. This free app is easy to learn and can handle all your photo editing needs. It is an ideal choice for creating photo collages and working with raw photographs. It's free to use, but it does cost $30 to unlock more features. Is painting more your thing? Well, paint.net is an open sourced free app that can handle drawing and photo editing. The only downside is that it will only work on Windows computers, so Mac users will have to look elsewhere. The cost of the Photoshop, well, it depends on which package you go with. Buying Photoshop alone will cost you $20.99 per month with an annual contract. You can also buy Photoshop with the photography plan for $9.99 per month. And under the photography plan, you'll only get 20 gigabytes as opposed to the 100 gigabytes that you get with Photoshop. You can upgrade to one terabyte for $19.99 per month. And that brings us to the end of the video. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on graphic design applications. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.